It's been three decades since Hungary took part in a major championship, but the wait is almost over. The victory over Norway last November ensured the former football superpower a place at the European Championship in France. And for the fans, it's been a long time coming. It's a great feeling that they are finally proud of us and for what we have achieved in qualifying. For the first time in a very long time, the fans can follow us and experience what it means to have their team in the European Championship. What we did was amazing, representing the whole country. And I think that was a step in the right direction. The team surpassed themselves. They have belief and perform really well, especially in the playoffs. And because of that, this team deserves to be in France. People were crying. They were so happy. I think it was a very special moment for the Hungarian public. Finally, after such a long time, the national team is back. And it makes the Hungarian people very proud. It's amazing to be part of this as a coach. In the 1950s, Hungary led the way in world football. Ferenc Puskas was the symbol of the magnificent Magyar's team that reinvented the way the game was played. Recent history has been less kind. The past was very different. Fortunately and unfortunately, we're still being compared to Hungarian football the way it was back then. So it's very important that we achieve this result because everyone is still living off players like Puskas and Laos Detteri. It isn't always fair on the young players because they're constantly measured against the successes of the past. And that's sad because people can be very critical of the young players. But now with this success, I hope that'll change a little and that people will look more positively to the future and support the young players and the rest of the team. Thanks to this achievement, we can move on, which I'm happy about. It's been a long time since the Hungarian national team was at a World Cup or European Championship. With this success, we don't have to go back to the 70s, 80s or even earlier. Instead, 2016 will be remembered for reaching the Euros. Steering Hungary's new generation is head coach Ben Stork. The German guided the under-20 side to the last 16 in New Zealand last year before implementing his new ideas with the senior team. Even before I went to New Zealand and worked with that squad, I always said they had talent. You just need to work individually with them. You need to bring them on further and believe in them. We've implemented many positive changes, and I want to continue that journey. And I thank the Federation for having faith in me. Assisting Stork is former World Cup winner and European champion Andreas Muller, reveling in his new challenge. Experiencing the Euros or a World Cup as a player is very different to experiencing it as a coach. Being responsible for how the team performs is very special, especially a team like Hungary, who haven't qualified in recent years. Only together can we be successful. There's barely a player that plays abroad in Europe's top leagues, so our success only works through this team spirit. If the team is successful, then each player is also successful. For a once great footballing nation, Euro 2016 is a chance to build new foundations for the future. We want Hungarian football to remain among football's elite. It will require good performances at the Euros and the World Cup. These are competitions that we'll need to continue participating in for players to gain experience so that Hungarian football regains the respect it used to have. We have a lot of plans I'm trying to build for the European Championship and also the World Cup. We still have a long way to go, but we're going in the right direction. Now, we have to continue to work hard to make the next step.